What's cracking, everybody, and welcome to the very first in a very long time good reactions video. Uh, I am one of your uh, resident reactors today, or Noel Pearson, alongside <laughs> Mr. Tie Me Up <laughs> and Xander. What's hey. happening, Doggy Dog? Hey. Come on, hey, let me tie you up. Hey, hey, let's uh, do it. Uh, you don't uh, say it. <laughs> What's going on, man? Listen, we're all tied up here because today we have the brand new trailer for Ant Man and the Wasp quantum media just dropped this morning it's looking fresh we have not watched it yet and we are here to do it with you guys today so without any further ado Xander, are you ready my friend dude i am so pumped i've oh heard i've heard boy. snippets from the people that were over at uh what was it d23 when they showed it yep um <laughs> i've i've heard about it haven't seen it i i'm I hope it lives up to what people have talked about. Hey, there's there's some big hype, and we're going to be here for it with you guys. Without any further ado, let's do it, Xander. Let's go, baby. Let's go. I used to ask myself a lot of questions. Scott, you're at X-Con. How are you an Avenger? That doesn't make sense. But everywhere I go, people tell me the same thing. Thank you, Spider-Man. <laughs> people still need help, Dad. That's why we made this. It's like a satellite for deep space, but Quana. Wait, wait a minute. You're sending a signal down to the quantum realm. Turn it oh, off. Oh shit. Uh oh. Now. Oh, when Michelle Pfeiffer tells you to do something, you better do it. Oh no. Oh shit. Damn it, Cassie. Oh, whoa. Where are we? When are you gonna come down? So that's why they recast her. I should have stayed on the phone. I should have listened to my own mind. It's the secret universe beneath ours. What are you so afraid of? There's something I never told you. This place. <gasps> it isn't what you think. Oh shit. Hold on. Oh shit. I can get you home. And give you oh, more fuck is that? If you help me. So, what's it gonna be? Ant Man. Let's fucking go, dude. What the fuck? You changed up the logo. Oh shit. Okay. Well, all okay. right. Let's let's uh here, I'll mute this really quick. Let's look over some stuff here really fast. So <laughs> first off, Jonathan Major's voice as King fucking rocks. That like super mm -hmm. ominous, sort of like quiet, like mellow tone he's got going on is like freaking really definitely, black definitely like, a difference from what we saw in Loki. For yeah, sure. Hundred percent, hundred percent, dude. Uh <clears throat> so the first thing I noticed was the recast on Cassie, you can mm -hmm. now see that like they they did that because she's actually a full on character now, right? It's not yeah, just she's like she's gonna be villain. much more involved. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so obviously they're gonna need somebody probably with some chops that can go in there and like play the role out that way. Um, mm -hmm. This thing of I I'm sure we thought it was going to be Kang like popping into our MCU like on his own accord, but it looks like it's like mm -hmm. they sort of stumble upon him doing something. What would you get out of that? It's almost like after the events of like, say like Loki and everything, like he's already been planning this. But what's weird to me is the fact that chronologically speaking, Ant-Man the Wasp came out long before Loki, right? Yeah. Right. And yet, and yet, she, uh Janet was already very no not Janet uh yeah it is, it is Janet Janet yeah, um yeah. she's very much already aware of Kang so how long has he been planning this how long has he been here like right right there's what there's the definitely more questions to be asked now that we've seen this especially like 
Like, yeah. This is just a, a, a quantum world, like, city? Like, who, like, what city is this? Do we know? I think it's almost like it's, a, it's, it's based off of, um, shoot, what was the name of Kang's, like, his, his domain that he, that he... Oh, I don't even remember. I don't even remember off the top of my head. That's that's hard to say. I mean, like, I don't believe that was a quantum city, though. Like, if, if it was, I remember correctly, yeah. Chronop um, Chronopolis. Chronopolis. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The city of time, right? Uh, mm -hmm. His dude, his fit as king. That fit, and like, hold on. Let's 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 look at this like scar work they got going on here. Real quick, real quick. Hold on. No, no, no not that far. Not that far. Look at that scar work there, man. We have like dude, battle worn sick. Kang, and I'm like 100 percent here for it, dude. The the armor he's wearing is like the coolest shit on the planet. And I think we get like I remember correctly. There's like we get the blue, we get blue face. Yeah, look at that. Which granted CGI work, it it looks a little weird. Like my first reaction to this, it looked a little like jarring because like his face looks way too big. Yeah. Here. Well, I think it? I think it's because the glass panel probably magnetizes like what his like you know like when you look through glasses like your eyes look really big. Yeah. I think that's kind of what we got going okay. on here. But let's also point out too, Cassie has a suit. Yes. We got stature. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, we got it. We got it figured out, dude. Like that's so that's so sick, man. Let's see what else we got pointed out here. We have that group of people when they first land. Uh, where is it? Where is it? These guys. Yeah. Dude, this who are, who are I these we're, dudes. We are jumping into an area of Marvel lore that even I am like, the fuck? <laughs> like, like who is this? Is this no, this is this is the lamp. Uh, from the Pixar logo, yeah, actually. Is, yeah, was, um, yeah, 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 yeah. He's, he's canon now he, since, uh, uh, since Disney bought them out. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. it. It's it's like it's giving <laughs> it's giving Star Wars in the weirdest way that I, like wasn't prepared for. Bit. Yeah, like the yeah, like the Jabba's. Uh, <laughs> like the they're in there, dude. Like you see the two dudes like mm -hmm. up here in the uh, in the right hand corner. These two guys like pointing the the <laughs> like a dope ass at sniper off to the right too. Yeah, dude. That's rad, man. I don't know. Well, Xander, I guess really my last question here for you is is now that we've seen this, where do you what do you think we're actually getting out of this movie as far as like the greater MCU is concerned? Uh, to be completely honest, this is just gonna be this is gonna be the introduction into what is going to happen uh in the main line uh story arc the the multiverse saga this is going to be the introduction to how do we get to secret wars right. from this right um because we've already had that announcement we've already, we already know that that's what to expect this is going to set everything up um this creature right here what the f it's like <laughs> stranger stranger things meets fucking uh aliens but also yep, if you yep. if you backtrack real quick he's looking at a version of himself being ripped ripped apart oh yeah the gi the giant ant-man coming coming undone it was right here yeah. right somewhere around here alexa play corn um <laughs> yeah right here yeah like that right yeah. there that yeah, what, wait, what, is, what does that look like also, to you what does that look like to you but there's also a, a bunch of other versions of himself there too Yes, there are. There, are ma there's many, many versions, and this just so happens to sort of look like the ribbons that we saw in Doctor Strange: The Multiverse of Madness. Yeah, just without. The, it also kind of reminds me of. Um, it also kind of reminds me of uh, when, in a uh, what was it, Infinity War? Uh, believe it was not. Uh, it was Mantis that was hit by the reality stone oh, and she turned yes. into all those ribbons. Yeah. I, I love the Guardians nice. of the Galaxy-esque sort of uh, design that we have out of a lot of the stuff too. Mm -hmm. um, sort of making this like live in that universe a little bit more. I'm also a little surprised that they showed Bill Murray in this trailer. Granted, like what's yeah. been going on with him recently. Like I thought we weren't, going to be getting him in this movie anymore honestly i thought they were going to end up doing some kind of reshoots or something like that it might have been too late mm -hmm. in the production cycle to pull that off but probably interesting dude uh also this moment here we got giant ant-man coming up in the middle of the city 
He's just about to wreck house, dude. I wonder what he's. I mean, that's obviously not giant I mean, because it's the quantum realm. But like, you, you get my point, though. Yeah, uh, he's about to wreck house in here. I just, I'm wondering what it is that's making him do that. You know what I'm saying? Bill Murray's fan. This, this, this raises so so many more questions than answers. To be totally honest, and like from what I've heard about the um, the footage that was shared at D23. There are a lot of changes. Uh, I remember it, even if you were to look up Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania on Google Images, you'll see images of Paul Rudd just beaten to shit. And that was part of some of the footage that was shown at D23, yeah. which we did not get with this. So, yeah, I mean, like, there's this this moment here. They kind of they kind of show it. I'm assuming this is what we're looking at yeah. like, near the end of the film after he's gotten his ass mm-hmm. beat for a good hour and a half. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh man. I'm, I'm excited to see how that comes to unfold though. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is, good this trailer. is easily like, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to this as being the, one of the more pinnacle movies in this next phase, uh, because this is, this is easily going to set up the rest of this next phase. God, it's gonna be so good, dude. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> I'm so excited for it. And I hope you guys at home are excited for it too, because we certainly are gonna be watching this day one. You guys can catch our review for it here pretty soon. Uh also our review of um Black Panther Wakanda Forever is gonna be coming here soon, uh, in a couple weeks after the movie comes out. That's gonna be a fun, fun time. And we hope you guys enjoy that when the time comes too. So uh in the meantime, y'all, we're gonna go rolling on out of here so we can uh chit chat and you know live our lives. But until next time, my friends. Go watch Ant-Man when it comes out because this shit looks sick. Yes, sir. (laughs) Yes, sir. Bye, guys. Love you.